Hey guys, how you doing? So basically I wanted to properly introduce this video just to help avoid potential confusion. So basically what you're about to see is with the first portion of the video, you're going to see me about one hour before the proper introduction of the Christmas content on December 16th. I'm all nice and optimistic. I talk about the gingerbread skins. That's nice. That's cool. But in the second portion, which is just over 24 hours later, I talk about certain problems that happened. I talk about, of course, the gingerbread skins again. But then, of course, Christmas skins in general, how things are, and, of course, where things might potentially lead up to over the course of the next week. And so with that, I hope you enjoy the video. Let's now move on to the first portion. Good evening, Rescue Enjoyers. I hope you're doing all right. So I just wanted to do a little mini video here. I might incorporate it into a bigger video. But as you can see, it's December 16th. And what did we see very recently in that blog post made by Face Punch? The actual in-game Christmas content was going to come out on the 16th of December, 7 o'clock in the UK. So that's in about an hour's time. Now, they've already released this blog right here saying, hey, it's Christmas time now, ha ha ha, you know, in the game and whatnot. So I think they've released it a little bit earlier, maybe for some servers at the very least. But I thought to myself, you know what, I'll just quickly show you what the front page looks like. Get a good look at the second page, the third page, you know, how is everything currently looking at the moment? And then I thought to myself... Considering that the gingerbread building skin's just been introduced and available to everybody until January 4th, it's only available to everyone during the Christmas period. So when the when the force wipe happens in January time, it's gone. But it's expected to return every Christmas time. Make sense? Cool. So considering it's the first time that we have the likes of this gingerbread building skin, I can't help but think that all of these gingerbread skins are going to probably spike in demand, spike in price. More specifically, certain deplorables noted as doors. Wow, well, yes. <laughs> so, yeah, I just wanted to give a quick look at all of these before we see potentially a buyout and whatnot. And, uh, yeah, let's just see if what happens in regards to this. So, as you can see right here, 99 quantity for the sheep and a door. It's currently sitting here at $2.43. Over the course of this weekend and as of next week, will we see it all potentially get bought out and rise all the way up to maybe about $3 plus, dollars, maybe 4 Who knows? We shall see. It's all nice and spread out. No big, fat, huge quantities. What about the likes of the gingerbread garage door? Well, this has got 132 quantity, currently listing with the lowest price at $2.66. As I scroll down, you can see, spread out very very nicely as well could this push all the way up to four dollars and beyond well we'll just have to wait and see will the gingerbread building skin actually prove to be very uh popular it will people be actively wanting to dress up as gingerbread men and whatnot now maybe not on a proper server but you know on not every single server is um sweaty <laughs> you know pay, uh, uh, try hard and whatnot so maybe some people are just wanting to have fun with themselves and whatnot and uh, enjoy themselves. I also brought up the likes of the gingerbread box. Perhaps this also might be getting some interest. We shall see. But it's mainly the doors because a gingerbread building skin, it doesn't come with doors, does it? So you're going to have to buy them. But a box as well? No, well, we shall see. 52 of these in the Steam market. Lowest listing is $4.37. Let's see what happens to the likes of this. Could it go all the way up to $7? I hope so. I'd like to sell them for that price. And then, of course, we have the double sheet middle door. Right now, only 16 of them on the Steam market. $8.53 is the lowest listing. What do you reckon could potentially happen? Uh, so yeah, that's it. And just to show you this as well, the play account doing very nice at the moment. Could it go even higher? Fingers crossed. But um, yeah, it's only early evening in the UK. So I'm pretty sure Americans are going to be hopping in a little bit more and we're probably going to reach all the way up to and above 140,000. So that'd be nice. We'll see what happens next. And I do believe within the next hour or so, we'll actually see the actual, like all of the servers getting the Christmas content. So I recorded this just to get a good look at everything beforehand. And then we can take a look at a later time and see how it all turned out. Sounds good. So um, best of luck to all of you who invest into the likes of Christmas content and whatnot. And uh, to all those people with gingerbread skins, I hope you have fun. That's all I can say. So catch you later. Say goodbye. Good evening, Ruskin Enjoyers. Hope you're doing all right. So I thought to myself, it's been a week. We should do another Christmas update video. We should be talking about the likes of those Christmas skins and we should see how they're currently performing. Now, at the very beginning of this video, I wanted to showcase what my optimism was like literally before the actual in-game Christmas content update. Basically, all the stuff's now been added, but there was a problem. So as you could see, I talked about the likes of gingerbread skins. And unfortunately, with the, uh, you know, introduction of the Christmas content, well, there was problems with the building skin. It wasn't, like, properly available. People couldn't actually use it properly. So that was actually fixed the next day. 
but there's been repercussions because of this a lot of people who happen to own a fairly decent amount of the uh, gingerbread door skins for example well fortunately they were under the assumption that uh well this clearly means that face punch isn't going to release it this year it's all broken damn i better sell my stock already yeah we've had a bit of a bad negative repercussion so we're going to go show off that right now but just to quickly point this out to you on the front page of our steam market right now a quick refresh you can see gingerbread door is right there the sheet metal door and here are the gingerbread skins right now we are about to see quite a significant difference in regards to the quantity so let's go take a look at the sheet metal door so um yesterday uh well technically speaking 30 hours or so ago you can see that this had about 90 what was it 99 quantity and it was sitting here about two and a half dollars well unfortunately more people decided to list theirs and i do believe they've also sold to the uh, highest buy order it's a bit unfortunate however with what we currently see here there's like no big fat quantities there's no big fat resistance could this still turn around? Could this still potentially work out quite all right? I hope so, but it would have been a whole lot better if the actual building skin came out yesterday, you know, during the time where we had a lot of people playing, which is another thing I should point out. So with the player count, with the introduction of the Christmas content, we actually beat our peak player count from Forcewipe this month. That's cool. And we've actually already matched up to last year. So December 2022, when it peaked at the end of the month, well, we're only about 70 players different from there. I'm still expecting a lot more people to play at the end of this month. So at the current rate, things are actually doing quite all right. Not insane, but better, better. That's good. <laughs> that's good we'll, we'll, we'll roll with that okay we'll roll with that so things were good we had 138,000 peak players yesterday but unfortunately like i said investors people who owned a bunch of stock fought the worst of it and what well, they tried to quit they tried to bail out well turns out the building skin was properly introduced and well we need to talk about what potentially is going to happen from here but we should still make the likes of the comparisons so as we scroll down over to here there's still like a ton of them one 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 but what i believe has happened is people got a little bit you know cautious they listed their stock and then other people listed theirs and then other people listed theirs and people kept undercutting each other it's unfortunate but it happened so the sheep in a door it got an extra 30 ish extra quantity what about the other skins? Now you have the likes of the gingerbread garage door here. This had an increase of about 80 quantity. That's awkward. But again, when you look at it, oh, it's not actually that bad. It did go down in price. We can clearly see that, but it's not insane. It's not crazy. And if anything, I kind of get the feeling this probably would have happened anyway. Because as you can see, loads of people listed in like groups of three, three, two, five, two, four, five, three, three. It's not big fat chunks of stock. So I get the feeling, potentially, half the reason why it didn't do so well is because so many of us were invested into the likes of these skins. And clearly, we're all trying to make a quick sale and whatnot. <laughs> Awkward, yes. But again, I want to talk more about what's going to happen over the course of the next week. So don't worry too much. We'll get to there in a second. But as you can see, <laughs> a lot of people did uh, list their skins. It is a lot more compared to what we had literally 30 hours ago. But is it doomed? I don't think it is. And based on what time of the year you bought this skin, you're still going to make a nice profit. So moving on to the next thing, we have the likes of the gingerbread box. This didn't change. That didn't change. It's still the same price. There's, what, six more quantity? You know, that was fine. He's, he's chilled out. He's fine. No issue, no problem. That was a little bit funny, but yeah, that, that happened. Nothing really changed there. Could this still go up in price? Again, we'll talk more about it in a second. And then we have the one with the very like noticeable change. This only had about 16 quantity yesterday. And, well, look at it now. <laughs> so the lowest listing yesterday was $8.50. And then you can see how people start to list theirs and undercut each other, undercut each other. So, yeah, it's, I think it's more us. And the fact that a lot of people invest into the likes of these skins. Will this still improve? We're about to get to there, don't worry. But do note, the highest buy order yesterday is still the same. People did not unload their stock to the highest buy order. So it's just people undercutting. That's it. That was it. So do you honestly think we're screwed? Do you honestly think there's problems? I'm not fully in the position of that, but I kind of think we're probably not going to reach stupidly high prices still because there's a lot of us involved. And this is something that I should have been a lot more aware of because a lot of us got involved in investing into these skins as early as August. As I pointed out, we found out first about the likes of the gingerbread building skin back in August. 
And then when we saw the first proper reveals, well, that was like in September time. Do you remember when Rusticator put out that tweet and we made a big fuss about what we could see and we thought, wow, things are definitely going to improve. And because a lot more people became aware of it, a lot more people invested into the likes of these door skins and whatnot. So, yeah, that's a fair bit awkward. Okay, so what have you been alluding to, Hedge? What is going on in regards to what you think is going to happen over the course of next week? So as we go over to here to the front page, look at the top three, or the, at least, you know, the first few pages near the front page, you can see that there's Christmas skins in pretty much every single page. They're trending, they're selling, they are being pursued. People want them. With the, you know, with the acceptance of that Santa coat, which we can see right there, that caused basically all Santa things to go up in price. That is nice, that is cool, but that doesn't apply to every single Christmas skin. So basically, um, I do see that there is an increase in demand, and now we actually have to question when exactly are kids and college kids and people, when are they going to stop going to school and when are they going to stop going to college and when are they going to stop working? So now we have the calendar. So we actually have one solid week quite literally before Christmas, all right? When do kids get out of school? Is it going to be, is it going to happen as early as like now? Or is it the 20th or the 21st? And then we have a weekend, literally a weekend just before Christmas time. So I, by default, assume we're going to probably have a lot of people potentially playing around here. And that's, co that, 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 that's good. That's fine. That's nice. I appreciate that. That's nice. So basically what I'm trying to allude to is we're probably going to have a reasonable amount of time off in the lead up to Christmas, the final few extra days. And that is where we're going to start seeing a lot more push for the likes of skins and whatnot. That's where we're very likely potentially going to see gingerbread improving more. And I should also point this out to you. There is quite a lot of Christmas skins that do rise up in price still literally, literally at the very end of the tail end of uh, December. So don't rule out the possibility of that. So as I've already pointed out, with the likes of what we saw this past weekend, literally yesterday, we beat the four swipe, uh, four swipe peak player count. Things are looking good. At the very least, in regards to post-Christmas uh, momentum, things are actually looking good. But I do get the feeling it's probably our fault based on the fact that a lot of us got on, you know, into investing into the skins. <laughs> we are our own worst enemy. Or, uh, well, other people are. We can hunt them down and fight them. There will only be one. I'm joking. But, like, yeah, yeah. Um, It's probably us. I'm sorry to say that, but I probably encourage too many of you and now I'm going to have to put down some of you. All right, so just stand still. It won't hurt. Well, not for long. <laughs> it's awkward. So, yeah, I kind of get the feeling we're going to see the actual proper push for skins and whatnot during the likes of this week. And, of course, quite literally the very second we hit December 26, everything, everything go up. That is still expected to happen. So don't worry too much. Just see how it plays out. And this is why I have to point this out to you one more time. When I first told you to consider investing into Christmas skins, only buy so much that you know you can sell. If you bought like 200 of one skin, that's on you. You've just probably learned a harsh lesson. I bought a lot of skins, I know, but I know I can do it. I'm crazy. <laughs> Look at me. Anyway, so um, yeah, please take that into consideration for next year. And please take into consideration how you might want to approach older Christmas skins for the next year because there is that special period of time usually around springtime where all the Christmas skins will reach their new rock bottom price for 2024 and that will be their lowest price that year because then they can only go up I might have to do a video talking about that going to have to it's not going to be too hard to explain but as we've already pointed out in regards to these brand new Christmas skins none of these skins are expected to be a nice investment but in terms of figuring out a very good price to offer for them, that also applies to older skins. And older skins also have uh, price histories that we can learn from. So that is something we'll have to discuss at a later point. But point is, you do want to make sure you sell these before like January time, at the very least. Some skins will probably still be selling very well. I should also point out, we even see Halloween items and skins go up in price during like post-Christmas and whatnot. So don't worry too much if you've left it a little bit too late. Prices are still okay, all right? And based on if you, you know, bought in a lot earlier, you're still going to profit. And some profit is better than no profit. You still have some new money to work with on brand new adventures. Sounds good? So, yeah, if this is your first time engaging all of this, well, it's a new lesson, it's new, you know, new things to learn about and understand, but don't give up now.
see it out see what happens over the course of this next week and of course the week after that the very the the proper beginning of post christmas isn't next week but it's you know the week after that it's just around the corner fear not guys things should be improving still now i just want to show you how well i've been selling my skins as well so if i just go over to here yeah i listed these a little bit earlier didn't take too long uh what about the account that got dumped on so oh yeah this is it i also put this tweet out just to point out and say hey guys I'm noticing Christmas skins constantly on the front page. As you can see, there's some right there. That was a good few hours ago. I also made an effort to point this out. But my account, this right here, this is the account that ended up buying a whole bunch of legacy Kevlar tier 3 armor. Back to normal. Yep, I got my money back up. Just a nice, easy, extra 100 plus dollars. How did you do it? Christmas skins. They're still selling. They're still fine. People are actively still wanting to buy them. But, you know... There's a lot of build-up and whatnot. Now, there's something I want to just quickly address in regards to why I think things are kind of doing a, li a little bit better. I need to show off that neon snowflake again. Because I have noticed that this peaked up very nicely. Oh, I've just noticed it a little bit more because the quantity is actually starting to go down. So a lot of us thought the worst of it. Again, it's happened. But get a good look at this one more time. Only 79 quantity. Look at the sales history. Here we go. So... You can see how it peaked up initially at the very beginning of December, went down again. First Christmas rust store, went back up again, went down again. Well, I wouldn't be surprised with the next Christmas rust store, it'll go back up again. And of course, over the course of this week, as I've said already, with more people getting their time off and whatnot, they're very likely to go back up again, they're very likely to bounce up again. People are assuming the worst too quickly. So yes, it's trending downwards now, but now it's starting to actually pick back up again. Like, that seems to have stagnated, and now it's starting to move back up again, because, as I said, there was actually more quantity of this earlier, and, well, it's starting to go back down. People are buying it out, and prices are starting to improve again. Will this last forever? I don't know, but I thought I should at least point this out. I'll probably be doing another update video a lot more sooner, and uh, we can take a look at that, because, yeah, we shall see. We shall see. There's also one more thing that I want to point out to all of you, and it is in regards to post-Christmas momentum more specifically, but we have to find an older skin to take a look at. I actually showed this off to my chat earlier, Skull Rock. Now, you might sit there and say, Hedge, this is very Halloween-y. It is technically a Halloween item, but in by itself, it's just, it's just a Skull Rock. It's goofy, it's silly, but a lot of people do seem to appreciate the Skull Rock. He's not called Skull Rock, he's called Skull, but he's a rock, so I just call him Skull Rock. Don't worry, anyway. So this is currently sitting here at $3.10, all right? He had a bit of a weird, funny time over the course of the summer. Like, look at the look at the behavior it's been like. It's been a bit awkward, but yeah, anyway. I want to look at last year more specifically. This is how it behaved last year. Do you see how it just kind of goes from here? And whoop, what happened there? Well, during this next week, as I've been talking about, we very likely might be seeing some people jumping in early on certain notable skins and whatnot. Do you see how it kind of just picks up from the 23rd all the way up here to the 26th? From here to here, it's had a very nice 50% bump. Almost 50%, but yeah, you can see it for yourself. It begins the very beginning of like the post-Christmas. So that happened a little bit earlier. And there's some other skins you could take a look at right now, but they have to be older than, you know, at least a year or so, so you can see a previous uh, post-Christmas. But... There's a very good chance you're going to notice a lot of skins, maybe meta skins, maybe just in general very nice, well-beloved skins. I can see it right here with San Rhino, people jumping in early. In fact, let's go take a look at San Rhino. Now, this, of course, came out this year, but the trend I'm pointing out to you is very noticeable right here. So if you haven't realised, San Rhino, both the Tier 3 pieces, have held their value very, very nicely. I can show you its price history. It's not too hard to notice that. It hasn't struggled at all. It had some very strong support. Yeah, it peaked up a little bit earlier, but then it went down a bit, but it's actually starting to pick up again. Why is that? Just notice someone bought out 20 stock. There's only 41 of these on the Steam market. Why is this so well liked? Because it's a much cheaper alternative compared to the Desert Raiders Tier 3. Desert Raiders Tier 3, both of the pieces, $45. Both the San Rhino pieces, which I will point out to you, are the exact same color as Desert Raiders. They're like $5, $6 for the both of them. Much cheaper in comparison to Desert Raiders. I'm pretty sure a lot of people are going to be appreciating that and wanting to buy them as an alternative cheaper option budget option if you will so yeah people already jumping in and buying now because they know oh well hang on a minute post christmas is about to happen all those kids are about to get their christmas money why don't i just buy now 
and then you know <laughs> they're all gonna they're all gonna buy it anyway they're not gonna notice they've only just got back <laughs> so yeah if you make it a little bit more expensive I don't bother. the kids aren't gonna notice they'll buy it anyway so i'll just flip them for a much higher price that's what i think is happening and that is very likely what's going to be happening to many skins right right now over the course of this next week a little bit early of a push for post christmas so yeah, at least you're aware of that now. So if you've got a lot of money to uh, spend now, maybe you have sold a whole bunch of uh, Christmas stock and whatnot, start looking around. Start looking around. See what you can do. Have fun. So yeah, I pointed it out to you. I've also noticed Whiteout Kilt's gone up a fair bit. Wait, hang on a minute. Has that happened to you as well? Right now you're currently selling for $13. Uh, oh yeah, you're just trending up ever so nicely. Yes. <laughs> Whoa. So yeah. It's already happening, guys. Technically speaking, did someone... No, you're, you're just comfortable where you are. You know, all the whiteouts usually on the front page constantly. It's a well-liked, beloved collection. So, uh, yeah, that's it. It was a little bit all over the place. But I hope that was a nice update for all of you. I'm trying to sell something for £3.44, but early list at 3 42 Why is this? Um, it rounds up because of tax or something. I don't know, Warhead. I don't know. That's that's a Steam thing. I'm fully well aware of it, but like they have to have a certain amount to be able to make the tax work. Again, I don't know. It's like Steam market mechanics. It's a strange one. The Steam and the game fee get rounded down, so the buyer paid... Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. There you go. So Perfect Craft just kind of pointed it out very nicely there. Uh, Golden Star to you, Mr. Perfect Craft. You're a smart child. Good one. Good one. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. I hope you've all been keeping track of the likes of the uh, amount of money you have in your accounts and whatnot. I hope you're progressing very nicely. But as I've pointed out, if I go back over to here one more time, to my playlist, which I've brought up many times. Also, don't forget, I like to stream on both Twitch and YouTube now. So, playlists. Uh, Christmas 2023 investing. Yep. So, yeah. I was telling people to get involved as early as late last year. Quite literally December 30, 2022. Guys, start preparing for next Christmas right now. Because uh, when, when you have all of that profit, all right, you can start doing buy orders and anticipate where things are going to end up next. So we're going to talk more about that this Wednesday when we do our abnormal buy orders. We're going to discuss prices we will want to offer for the new Christmas skins. But we can also talk about how we're going to approach potentially wanting to invest into the older Christmas skins as well. When you look at it yourself, you'll understand everything. So we'll talk more about that this weekend. So if you just watched this video, maybe on the Monday or Tuesday... Check the uh, description of this video. You'll see links to my socials, my Discord, my Twitter, and of course my Twitch and whatnot. Keep an eye out. We'll do that video, or well, that stream. And of course, I'll also be on YouTube, by the way. But like, yeah, we'll be doing that. And if you've got questions, issues, or problems, we can help you out. But yeah, I want to try and kind of get into your heads how to approach uh, buy ordering for older Christmas skins and whatnot. And it's so easy, because all you got to do is just look at its past. See how low it went previously. In fact... A very good example. We brought it up many times already. Go away. Go away, you. <laughs> Festive Garlands. We just looked at last year and the year before that. It's not hard. You just see how low they went before. And, you know, in you know, the most likely uh, expectation is it's going to happen all over again, where it's going to drop down even uh, just as low as again. Just as low again. So right now, this is currently sitting at $7. I wouldn't be surprised in the slightest if a whole bunch of people bought a whole bunch of these, expecting that they can flip them very quickly for a quick profit. Don't be surprised by that. We will be seeing that on the abnormal buy orders day, right? Or night. So on the stream, you'll see all of these buy orders suddenly disappear because everyone's going to try and do their quick flip attempt. <laughs> oh, if you're any of these people, you better remove them because it's going to happen and we're going to see it with our own eyes. Anyway, it's happened before at the very least. We can show that because it quite literally happened here. <laughs> so you have the initial drop and it drops even lower. And that happened because people kept their buy orders up still. So you're definitely going to see the likes of the price of this go down even lower as we approach the likes of the springtime. We can see it happened here and we expect it to happen again. And I knew how to approach this last year because I saw it happen the previous year. Wow! We're learning things, aren't we? What happened? March time, or close to March time, got very cheap. I knew about that. I approached it. I succeed in buying a whole bunch of them, and I sold tons of them during this year for a fantastic profit. I probably bought about 100 and sold each of them for about $10 plus. So I made I made $1,000 from Festive Garlands just by doing a smarter buy order. And I learned, you know, it, it wasn't hard to figure out. So, yeah, we'll talk more about that over the course of the uh, Abnormal Barter stream and whatnot. So hopefully that was in a, in a little bit of a boost 
bit of positivity. Let's look forward to what happens over the course of this week right here. Let's see how it all plays out. Let's see if we can make even more sweet, delicious looking profits. Uh, Twitch, feel free to say goodbye to YouTube. We're going to wrap this up now. And uh, yeah, right guys, at the end of the day, this whole experience is a learning experience. Doing it once will make you so much more experienced in regards to approaching it again next year. And with the extra videos I'm about to put out, like I've just uh, shown showcased to you, you know how to approach those Christmas skins in 2024 especially when that cs2 major takes place in march oh it's gonna get rough but if you're prepared for it you've got money to spend and a lot of very cheap skins that are expected to go up a price and so that thank you very much for watching i greatly appreciate it. i hope you all enjoyed yourself if you've got questions you can you know write in the comments below and whatnot i'll try my best to go through them all but if you actually come to my streams i can do it like right here right then cool understood all right so catch you later think goodbye